Hello everyone, this is Kai3. In today's session, we are going to discuss about Sorin Sins Index and at the end, we are going to solve a previous year CSR net question related to this topic. Sorin Sins Index, it is a type of similarity coefficient index, which is used to measure the similarities between communities. So, in today's session, we will look into what is the formula for Sorin Sins Index and how it is calculated. So, let's begin. Sorensen's index. It is represented by S S. S is for the similarity coefficient that is for S and this S it is for the Sorensen's index. Sometimes it is also represented by the C S. C it is for the community and uh, S which is present in the subscript it is for the Sorensen's. Okay. And the formula for Sorensen's index is 2A upon 2A plus B plus C. Okay. So this is very simple formula hope you can remember it very easily but it is is the 2a upon 2a plus b plus c so for calculating any type of similarity coefficient index first first thing you have to do is to plot a 2 upon 2 table so this one is the 2 upon 2 table and write simple a or community 1 or simple b or community b then number of spaces present, number of spaces absent for simple A, number of spaces present, number of spaces absent for simple B and put the value and, and then write down A, B, C and D. So now you can know the what exactly A is. A means that A is present in both the simple A as well as, well as in the simple B. Okay, it is present in both the simple A and simple b and the b it represents that the number of spaces it is absent in simple a but that is present in simple b now come to c it represents the number of spaces it is present in simple a present in simple a but that is absent in simple b and D, that means it is absent in both the simple A as well as in the simple B. Okay. Hope now you understand that what is A, B, C and D. Okay. Here I have also written that what exactly the A, B and C, D is. If you want, you can refer here or you can take the screenshot of this slide. So now we are going to solve a previous year question of Sorensen's index. So the first question is. The following table shows the summary of characters between the taxa based on the presence and absence of the data and we have to calculate the Sorensen's index. Okay. So what is the formula for Sorensen's index? The formula is 2a upon 2a plus b plus c. Actually this question in CSR net it has asked for the jackass coefficient and simple matching coefficient. I have solved this question for those two similarity coefficient. You will get the link in the description box down below. So please make sure to check that video too. So now we are going to solve this question for Sorensen's index. Okay, first put the formula 2a upon 2a plus b plus c. Then this one is the 2 upon 2 table. Okay. And here the 1 it represents the presence and and 0 it represents the absent. 1 is for present and 0 is for absent. So what is the value of A? A means that is present in both the taxon A and taxon B. Which is present in taxon A, taxon B that is 40 right? A is 40. And what is B? B is that which is absent in taxon A but that is present in taxon B. So this one is B. And C, it is present in taxon A, but that is absent in taxon B. So, this one is C. And D, that is absent in both the taxons. So, this one is D. But for calculating the Sorensen's index, the value of D is not required here. All the similarity coefficient index that depends on the presence or absence of the data. Okay, that does not matter that how many number of spaces are present. It does not deal with the abundance. It deals with only the presence or absence of data. And it is very useful for the ecologist and those who are studying the community ecology. So let's solve this question. Put the value 2a. So 2 multiplied by 40 
okay so 2 multiplied by 40 is the 80 so i'm here directly writing 80 plus b is what b is the 18 and c is 22 so it is 80 upon 120 right 80 upon 120 so it will be around 0 0.6 now we'll look into the another question so this question here it is the spaces a b c d e f and community one and community two plus it indicates for the presence and minus it indicates for the absence okay so in this case so first what we have to do is to know the value of a b and c okay because we know the formula is 2a upon 2a plus b plus c so here what is a a is that it is present in both the communities so let's see okay spaces a it is present in community one and community two similarly spaces f it is present also in both the communities so the value of a is two because the two spaces are present in both the communities now comes to value of b so what is b it is absent in community one but that is present in community two so let's see absent it is absent c it is absent in community one okay but it is present in community two so it is one but nothing so b is one then the c c it is absent in community two so here it is absent in community two but it is present in community one right that is the species b let's see the species d and species C, though they are absent in community 2, but also they are absent in community 1. So, that is for the D, right? So, the value of C is only one species that is absent in community 2, but it is present in community 1. So, so here the value is, is 1. So, now we have the value of A, B and C, okay? A means that is present in both the communities, species A and the species F, it is present in both the communities. So, we put the value 2. B, it is absent in community 1. Okay, absent in community 1. C, D and E, three species are absent in community 1. But the value of B is that species that is absent in community 1 but should be present in community 2. So, that is only one species that is species C. So, we have to return is 1. Similar case with the value of C. That is absent, should be absent in community 2 but present in community 1. So, only one species that is the species B, it is absent in community 2 and it is present in community 1. That is the species B, right? So, I have written 1. So, now for the values. So, 2A, 2 into 2 that is 4, right? So, 2A is 4 plus b is 1 also the c is 1 so it is 4 upon 6 so 4 upon 6 it will be around 0 point so it will be 0 point 6 so in this way we can calculate the similarity coefficient index by using Sorensen's index hope this video will definitely help you if you like this video then please do share it with your friends and subscribe my channel for such informative videos in upcoming days Still, if you have any confusion, then please put a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.